Hi, kindergartners. Welcome back to social studies. And so today we're going to keep working on our map, but it's going to be a little different. Instead of moving on with Cinderella, we're going to actually be talking about how to look at that map and how to use that map. But first, I want to show you a different map. I have a map here of a playground. Friends, this is one of the playgrounds that we have here in our city. Now, a park is a place where people go to enjoy nature, exercise, have fun, and even watch some birds. And I want you to look at this map of the park that I have. It shows play areas, walking paths, and some of the nature that you can find in the park, like ducks. And we have a map with key symbols, just like yesterday. I'd like for you to take a look on that right side where it's in white, and it actually has a word at the top that says key. Do you see that? Do you see that, Mabel? Yeah, Mabel's here helping me because she loves maps. Well, under the word key, there's pictures and there's words. I wanna go over the key because I want you to know how important a key is to a map. A key, friends, tells us all the important things that are on that map. And it gives us a picture so that we know exactly where they are and where we can find them. Do you remember yesterday's map of Texas? How fun was that? We were searching and we were coloring and we were looking at cities, the capital, and even water. Mm -hmm. Well, this key works in the same way, but we have different objects and items and words in our key. So the first one is a drawing of a tree and the word next to it is a tree. The next one, it's a picture of a bench, the type that you find at the park, kind of like the ones we have here at Wilson. And then the word bench. And then we have a slide. And then the word slide, a seesaw. Friends, a seesaw is a game where one goes up and the other goes down. And then the other goes up and the other goes down, just like that. And then next to it, it says seesaw. We also have a box and it's brown inside, light brown inside, because that's a sandbox. It says so right next to it. We also have the swings, a picture of the swings. Those look like the ones we have here at Wilson and the word swings right next to it. Ooh, and then I see three flowers. I, I see a blue, a yellow, and an orange. And next to it, it says flower garden. That means that where you see those three flowers on the map, there's a flower garden in the park. And do you see that water? It looks like somebody spilled water on the floor. Well, if you look next to it, the word says duck pond. That's a pond that you're going to find in the park. How cool. And then that brown line that you see there, it's a path. That's what the word says next to it. It means that that's somewhere that you can walk through in the park. So those are sim the symbols that are on our map of the park. Yesterday in Texas's map, we had a dot, a star, and then we had the little dots all around to let us know that it was the symbol for water. So do you remember way back when, when we had that lesson where Mabel was helping me and she was telling me above, and then I would put her above and then below to the side, behind, around. Do you remember that? So I want to go ahead and use those words. I want to use that vocabulary with this map. Friends, I want you to look at the map really carefully and I'm going to zoom in so that you can see it. What? Can you tell me what is between? Between means that it's in the middle. Remember, between means that it's in the middle of two objects or people. Friends, what is between one of the slides and the sandbox? Hmm. So we're going to look for the slide. Okay, so I see two slides. And now I'm going to look at the sandbox. Oh, there's a sandbox. Okay. And is there anything between the slide and the sand? Yep, right there. Do you see what it is? What is it, friends? Say it nice and loud. The seesaw. Good job. Now, I want you to look at the circle that goes around the pond. Hmm. What is that brown line that goes around the pond? Hmm. Okay. Well, if I want to know what that is, I look at the key. The key is there to help me understand what am I looking at? So that brown line, we look down here at the key. There it is. Oh, there it is at the bottom. Friends, that means that it's the path. That means that I can walk around the pond on the path that they created for me. That's cool. So if I'm looking at this park map and I am on one of the swings, whichever one of the swings, and I walk north, that means that I'm walking doo, 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 up. If I walk north, what animal am I gonna run into? There's an animal there on a map. That's right, Mabel, the duck. Quack, quack. 
And last but not least, if I am walking along the path right here with all the benches, do you see it? Not the one that goes around the, the pond, the one that goes with the benches. Friends, if I'm walking south, walking down, what am I going to see at the very end of the path? I see some flowers. So what does that mean on the key? Well, that means that I'm going to see some flower gardens. They're going to smell so good now that spring is coming. Can't wait to visit this park. And friends, I want to tell you about north, south, east, and west. Those are the cardinal directions. Those are the directions that tell us where to go. North is above that's right, like the North Pole. And South is below, like the South Pole. It has to do with the equator. There's a line in the middle that goes around our globe. And the North of the equator means above of the equator, and South means below. Yes. And we also have East and West. Friends, East is where we would find, from here, we would find places like New York, Louisiana, Florida, West from us here in Texas, we would find places like California, Oregon, New Mexico. Grab our world map, and we're going to work on this map using some of these vocabulary. Come on. So, friends, here's the map that we've been using. And I know that we've already colored some of it, and we might end up coloring some more if you keep watching those Cinderella videos. But I want to actually talk to you about those positions, those vocabulary words that we've been using. And so the first one that I want to talk to you about is north. Now, can you point to where south would be? Oh, what about east? What about west? Okay, so I'm going to show you where north is. North on the map is right up here. And south on the map is right down here. Next, we have east right over here. This is the east. And then we have west, which is right over here. Okay, west. Now, friends, I want you to tell me, hmm, is South America... North, South, I think it's South on my map because I actually see the word South. So that one was an easy one. Let's try another one. Let's do Europe. Europe, friends, is Europe on the map North or South on the map? That's right, it's North. Friends, let's try Australia. Do you remember back in December, we talked about Christmas in Australia and how it's really, really hot there during our winter? Well, I'm gonna write the word Australia right in here. You can write it outside if you'd like. And I want you to tell me, friends, is Australia east or west on this map? Hmm, is it east or is it west? That's right, it's east. And is North America east or west on this map? That's right, it's west on this map. And we also know it's north because it's in the name, right? So they made it easy on us with America. Another thing we'd like for you to do is I would actually like for you to take your pencil and we're gonna write this on our map for north, south, east, west on our map. So any color you want, at the top you're gonna put an N because that means it's north. At the bottom you're gonna put an S. That means it's south. Off to the right of our paper, we're gonna put an E. That means it's east. And then here, we're gonna put a W. That means it's W. And this way, friends, if you ever wanna play this game with somebody at home, hmm, is Asia north or south? Is Africa east or west? You can do so because now you have the markers. Friends, you just created your on your map. How cool is that? 